Good morning. So when you hear the truth, uh, when I hear the truth, we are sort of relieved, right? We have been wondering about something, and then somebody says something, and then we say, oh, I see, hold on. Well, that's very good. Makes sense, you know? It's a good thing. You hear the truth, it's good. For those who invest their lives in lies, they live on lies, it's different. They are fighting the truth. They don't want to hear about it. See, it's painful. The truth is painful to them. You know? And I was thinking about Dan Andrews, the premier of Victoria in Australia. He's one piece of work, this guy. He's not a favorite of mine. So I was thinking about him because I heard that Novak Djokovic is coming to Australia to play in the next Australian Open. And you remember the last time he was kicked out. He was kicked out of the country because he was this big danger, danger to the Australians, which was of course a lie. And Dan Andrews was responsible for this. You know? And you know, the truth is not just words, it's also this guy. Novak Djokovic is like a big symbol of the truth. Because people will see him now. He will be celebrated, admired, and he will do well, I'm sure. But he's the best, and he's a gentleman, of course. And he's a pure blood. <laughs> I love this. So people will understand, this guy is no threat to anyone. We're happy to have him. You know? And they will be reminded of uh, Dan Andrews and the na last time. So we kicked him out. We kicked him out of the country. You know? It's a symbol of truth. And I think maybe this will be just too much for Dan Andrews. Well, I don't know about this guy. He doesn't seem to respond like normal people. He's like an alien, something. Strange guy, Dan Andrews. So we'll see what happens. Right, Trump is running for president. Uh, when I heard this, I felt good about it. I like Donald Trump. There is, of course, a big issue, and that's the T. The warp speed, remember? And he was bragging about it, and this was terrible. I thought it was terrible. But now I understand, he's maybe, he's waking up about the tea. Because I saw him, he, he was say, this is what he said, Trump. Uh, we will abolish every Biden mandate and rehire every, every patriot who was fired from our military with an apology and full back pay. It's very good. Abolish every Biden mandate. An apology. Back pay. It's good. I like it. I think maybe he needs to save his face about the T. Trump. Because he was wrong about it. I don't think this guy likes to be wrong. But he was. And he needs to admit it. And maybe, maybe this is a start. If you look at his other achievements, it's fantastic. No, remember what he did during these four years. You know more about this than I do, you guys in America. But uh, what I can see, you know, he's, he was fighting me media almost every day. He was fighting the WHO. What he did with NATO and the relationships with uh, Russia, you know, you know, if he became the president, I think the relationships with Russia would go back to normal quite quickly. I actually believe this. So he's a fantastic guy, you see. Uh, now, there's one question I have. I mean, why are you running, Trump? You need a good plan, right? An excellent plan on how to stop the Democrats from stealing the election again. Otherwise, why would you run? Just a waste of time, I would say. You know? 
if they just steal the next one too, why waste your time on it? That's my question, really. Right, uh, here's a story from Sweden. Uh, a Sweden, a Swedish soccer referee died. His name is Johan Hamel, uh, 42 years old, uh, well-known soccer referee. Right? He suffered a stroke during a training session and died. And I was reading this and I thought, I was, I was thinking about all my former friends and people that I used to know, those people who ridiculed me for talking about the tea. And I was thinking about you guys and I thought, are you asking any questions yet? Or have you asked this million dollar question? What the hell is going on? Have you asked this question yet? I wonder about this. Maybe you haven't spoken it out yet, but to yourself, are you starting to wonder what the hell is going on? What's with all these people who are dying? When you are asking this question, contact me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to know. I just want to advise you. Don't wait too long to ask that question. Don't be one of the last persons to wonder about what's happening. Because it will be just too embarrassing for you. Ask the question, what the hell is going on here? With the birth rates, excess mortality, heart issues, people dying, people getting sick. What's going on? What the hell is going on? Ask the question. Right. Okay. Be good.